Welcome to our time of communion now uh, as we share the Lord's Supper together. Let's pray. Scripture says, be careful that your meeting does not do more harm than good. When you come together as a church, are there divisions among you? When you come together, it is not the Lord's Supper you eat. If you go ahead and eat without waiting for anyone else. So my brothers and sisters, when you come together to eat, wait for each other. Whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of sinning against the body and blood of the Lord. We each ought to examine ourselves before eating of the bread and drinking the cup. For if anyone who eats and drinks without recognising the body of the Lord eats and drinks judgment on themselves. But if we judge ourselves, we will not come under judgment. When we are judged by the Lord, we are being disciplined, so that we will not be condemned with the world. A moment of prayer for forgiveness. Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. To peace. God has called us to live in peace. For God is not a God of disorder, but of peace. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Peace to you. The Apostle Paul tells us of the institution of the Lord's Supper. For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this drink, this bread, and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Now we take the bread together. Jesus said, this is my body which is for you. Do this in memory of me. Amen. Now we take the cup. In the same way, he took the cup after supper and said, This cup is the new covenant sealed by my blood. Whenever you drink it, do this in memory of me. So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Do not cause anyone to stumble. Try to please everybody in every way. Don't seek your own good, but the good of many, so that they may be saved. Follow the example of Christ. And a blessing. He will keep you strong to the end, so that you will be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God, who has called you into fellowship 
with his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, is faithful. Come, O Lord, the grace of the Lord Jesus be with you. My love to all of you in Christ Jesus. Amen. <laughs>